Well, I have a 23-year-old daughter, Caitlin. Uh, she's a recent graduate of Central Michigan University in communications and event planning. Caitlin was my best friend for a long time and still is in many ways. She's a person I've always been able to talk to. We've always spent a lot of time together. Six years later, Jake, my son, was born. He's now 17 and a junior in high school. He and I spent a lot of time doing sports things together as well as music. He plays guitar. Uh, that's something I've been able to hand off to him as well. We go to like sporting events, Griffins, Tigers. Uh, we get a lot of tickets there and that's always fun because I'm really into that and I know my dad is too. Well, here at the house, we typically like to go out on the river. We go canoeing together, kayaking, just spending time outside. He's very creative and he does that through this house, for example. This is kind of his design. He's really proud of this. Since the day I met Brian, I have always thought that he is one of the most amazing fathers I've ever met. He is so loving and so nurturing and works so hard to be a good model and father to his children. It shows in everything he does. It's not easy. Being a single dad, you have to do it all. And it's a lot of work. And even just being a part of the family, it's a blessing. Well, Rosalind and I have been together eight years. She's been an important part of being able to uh, not be a single dad, to have a partner in raising the kids and uh, getting them through those adolescent years. Ever since the day I met him, he's been very, very committed to providing a safe, stable, uh, nurturing home for the kids. No matter where they go, what they do, he will always be here for them and they can try new things and different things and take risks and it's okay uh, because they'll always have him to fall back on. He's always supporting of whatever you want to do in your life. He's not going to force you into anything that you don't want to do and that he'll always be behind you for whatever you choose to do. He's taught me value in just the simple life's pleasures. So. I just think that's something really great to teach your kids. It's good just being myself, and I just think I'll always be okay if I know that. That is my philosophy, to be an optimist, uh, to always try to make what is better, and I think that's shown in uh, how I've raised my kids and, again, how I've engaged in the community and what I, the, the legacy that I want to leave. He's been active in the community for years and years, and it's actually a part of his family. So his father served on the school board, his mother was a county commissioner, and I think he learned that in his own family. And so he ran for township supervisor well over 10 years ago and has served in that position since then. It's important to give back. We volunteer time. You're given talents, uh, you develop talents, and to use those for good is, is important. Any chance we can do to get involved with him and kind of see hard work in action is nice. So. He is able to balance the two by getting us involved, but also when he's home, we do have family time as well, so there is that distinction. The most important thing about being a dad is, is time. I think uh, we often get it wrong. I think people say, I want to spend quality time with my kids, and I think quantity time is just as important. The, those evenings where you just come home and you're here, they may be up doing their homework or plucking the guitar, and you're just in the next room, but they know you're there. His children are his priority in life, and the decisions that he makes are always with what kind of impact will this have on my kids. Uh, and I think that's a, it's so admirable, uh, and it's so clear in everything he does. To me, the most rewarding thing about being a dad is seeing people grow, seeing people you love grow, uh, and being a part of that. Watching your kids, whether it's their first step, their first word, or graduating from college, to know that you've been there and supporting them, it's just awesome. It's just something that uh, uh, chokes you up and know that you've done something right. I always tell everyone I know that I honestly think my dad is the best dad in the world, and he's my best friend, and so to have actually a title put on that is kind of cool. I think a lot of times fathers don't get all the credit that they deserve and my dad is a great one so I think that it's really nice to have, be able to have that title to put there. A lot of the other work you do in your life is untangible uh, and you, no one will remember you did it when you're gone. Uh, your kids, they are your legacy. Some of the tangible things you do are your legacy and that is why fatherhood is rewarding.